In this video, I want to share with you my favorite little camping chair. This is a $15 chair from Walmart, believe it or not. I don't necessarily condone the practice of buying camping gear at Walmart for the most part. I think that you get what you pay for, but I've been using this chair for more than a year now, and we just bought a second one for my wife. It's a surprisingly great chair, and at a really great price. Let me show it to you now. So here is the chair. It comes in a relatively small package. This is the original one that I bought. And then they have an updated one that we just got a couple days ago for my wife. It's a small chair. You can see my, my foot there for scale. It's very compact. That's one of the main reasons I like this chair so much is because it doesn't take up too much space in my car when I'm camping. The one in the black bag is the newer version. The one in the blue bag is the older version that I've been using for a long time. So I'm going to be talking mostly about the black one because that's the one that you can currently buy at Walmart and then I'll compare the two a little bit afterward. So the back of the bag has a zipper. You undo it and there are two pieces when you open it up. There are the legs that are in this nice little bundle that's secured with a Velcro wrap. And then there's the chair fabric itself, kind of the surface of the chair, the part that you sit in. So I'll toss this to the side. The leg pieces just really easily slot into this plastic hub kind of thing kind of the spokes of the leg, or the spokes of the chair, fit into the hub very easily. Now it's all set up. Once you've got that all set up, you'll note there are four corners here that are kind of sticking up. One, two, three, and four. The little Ozark Trail logo part goes in this corner, and then you just grab the loop, the loop helps you open up the little pocket more. And you just slide it over. My chair, the blue one, the original version, does not have these little loops. They're nice to have, but they're certainly not necessary. The little pull loops. Oh. So really there are two things that I love, absolutely love about this chair. The first is that it's so compact, it doesn't take up much space. The second is that it is super comfortable. It's almost like a recliner, like it doesn't, you're not forced to sit with an unnaturally straight back. It is super comfortable. It's a good, like, relaxing chair. A good chair for relaxing in. But at the same time, you can still sit up and, like, cook food, or prepare a meal, something like that with your hands. So it's a very versatile chair also. And man, it is just so comfortable. Before we had this chair for my wife, we just got it a couple days ago. Before we had this chair, we had one of those much larger, kind of standard camp chairs that you can get at anywhere, you know, Walmart, Kmart, Target, any sporting goods store, they all sell that kind of standard style of camp chair. We had one of those that we took on our last two trips together and I tried it out a couple of times and man, I just missed this chair so much. It is so much more comfortable. Let me get out the first version of the chair, the first one that we bought, my chair, the blue one, and I'll set it up side by side and show you some modifications that I've made to this chair. Did I mention that it's $15? Uh, this is an incredible deal for $15. It's a, it's a knockoff of a much more expensive camp chair that's like $60. On Amazon you can buy some other knockoff ones for like $30, $35. This is $15, $14.88 at Walmart. By far the cheapest chair of this style. So functionally speaking, they are the same chair, same size. The fabric feels a little bit different, but it's about the same thickness and it's basically, practically speaking, uh, identical. 
You will notice there are some tags here, some huge tags here, and some huge tags on the bag. I've removed those from this chair. I cut all of those off, both on the bag and the chair. And then looking on the back here, I sewed just a regular loop of webbing on the back and added a carabiner to the bag because otherwise you don't really have anywhere to put the bag. As you can see, this one is just on the ground. I wanted a place to store the bag when it's not being used, and so you just clip it on like this, and it's out of the way and you can't lose it. You can see here the little pull loops. Those aren't on this chair. You can also see here some of the fabric is starting to, to rub away, starting to give. Uh, I expect that would be the case on any chair of this style. But again, I've had this for a year. I've used it um, for dozens of nights of camping. And so if it ever does rip through, I figure I'll have gotten my money's worth out of it and I'll just replace the thing for another $15. One other modification I've made is a pocket on the side. So I can put uh, my phone or some snacks or some other other little miscellaneous items in there. That's been really convenient. I, I just sewed the bag out of some nylon and then I used some button snaps to affix it to the chair and it can easily be removed. It's not an especially lightweight chair. I wouldn't use it for backpacking, like hiking several miles into a campsite. Um, it weighs, it says, let's see, I'll show you, it says, this says 3.6 pounds for the newer model, 3.7 pounds for the older model. But I found that it's actually lighter than that. I weighed it on my postal scale at home and it's three pounds, 5.6 ounces. So 3.35 pounds. Still not light, but not quite as heavy as it, as it indicates on the packaging. Fantastic chair. If you're on a budget, I, I can't recommend it highly enough. I love it. It's super comfortable, super compact. It's a great car camping chair. And um, I hope Walmart keeps making it for a long time. So after getting home and looking at and reviewing and editing the footage, I realized that there are a few other things I should probably say, so I'm jumping in here at the end to add those. One thing I didn't mention is how great it is to always have a chair like that in your car. If you happen to find yourself at the park, at a picnic, the beach, a concert, a fireworks show, whatever, it's great to always have a chair in your car to just pull out whenever you happen to need it. To not have to think beforehand, okay, I'm going to this place, I need to make sure I have the chair in there. It's really nice to just always have it in there. Second, I just looked on the Walmart website. It's no longer in stock on the website. I don't know if it will be again soon or if it's just a temporary thing. It might still be at your local Walmart, so go check. It's, it's in the camping section with all the other camp chairs. If you can't find it on the website or in the store, I don't wanna leave you empty-handed, so I'll put a link in the description to a couple of $30 chairs on Amazon. Same kind of chair, exact same design, different materials, so the ones on Amazon are lighter. They're two pounds instead of three point whatever, 3.3 pounds. And so uh, if you are gonna take it backpacking, gonna take it hiking, it might be worth it to spend the extra $15 to get one of those $30 camp chairs that's again the same general design so it'll be just as comfortable just as portable but it is lighter something to, to consider and something that i wanted to mention here so let me know if you have any other questions about the chair and uh thanks for watching